let's again think about what is strategy okay so we're gonna go back so we want to just you know nail this one and uh, know that exactly what strategy is so there is something called as corporate strategy okay so corporate strategy is what businesses to be in so as copper mobile we made that decision that we want to do mobile applications also, now we're making that decision that we want to be in emerging technologies. We made that decision that we don't want to make applications for funny noises from cat or, you know, some other applications that are more consumer based, but we want to differentiate ourselves in making apps that are for enterprises, apps that make business sense, app that have apps that have some sort of ROI associated to that. ROI is return on investment. So that's the decision we made on a company level. So that's what corporate strategy is. This is what business is to be in. If someone comes to us and says, oh great, you have such a good balance sheet. You know, why don't you invest and buy this apartment building? No, well, that's not the business we're in. So that's not our corporate strategy. So that's what corporate strategy is. But if someone comes, hey, would you like to partner with us on this product? that we want to give to all the frontline workers and the hospitals where they can track this and that, or, you know, some idea. We'll be like, okay, well, interesting. We have that expertise and we would like to be in that business. So that's something that's done at a corporate level. Then next come to business strategy. Business strategy is how to be competitive in that specific business. So at Copper Mobile, how do we become competitive uh, on the basis of like what are the other competitors out there so the decision that we took to we said okay we want to be in software we want to be in um you know like mobile app development business i think that was a corporate strategy level right and then business strategy would be how do we become competitive and one of those things was hey we're gonna have an office in india so we can make sure that we are able to turn the knobs and make some of these mobile applications fit into the budgets of, uh, you know, smaller companies as well. A small company is not going to want to spend $9 million on a mobile application just like SiriusXM would, okay? They would be like, no, are you crazy for, you know, an application? We don't want to do as much. We would like something for $100,000, for $150,000, you know, or $200,000, whatever the number may be. So. That's why that was one of the strategic decisions, I guess. That's our competitive advantage in a way. Not anyone else, a company, you know, can just go set up that uh, office in India. Why? Because they may not have roots in India. You know, Rupak did a fantastic job in laying the foundation and hiring the best people and then communicating with them and building that relationship that, you know, they've been around for nine years, for eight years, for seven years. A lot of them. Why? Because they just love it. They want to be there because they've looked in the eye, you know, of me and Akash and Rupak and they've said, Arvin, we're in it for long term. We're going to support you no matter what. And in turn, we're going to support them as well. So that's business strategy. OK, um, so is that so far so good? OK, so after business strategy, there comes functional strategy. Functional strategy is where we have individual functions within the company and then strategy around that. So this is not an exhaustive list at the bottom, um, you know, but these are different strategies that also overlap. So mobile strategy, product strategy, pricing strategy, revenue strategy, market strategy, engagement strategy. And again, this is not an exhaustive list. I can name a couple more, but this is what I could quickly think of. And these are some of the uh, functional strategies. So what does this mean? So what would be a mobile strategy? It would be like, hey, we need an app, but we don't know what it needs to be. Or, you know what, uh, we have all this paper-based process, but we're not sure, is this going to work? Are our customers or our employees going to be open to using that? Or, you know, should we go for um, um, a web-based solution? Why do an app? So those are some of the questions that are answered in mobile strategy. So again, what was strategy? A roadmap. So what is mobile strategy? A mobile roadmap for the company uh, to be competitive, to have an edge, to use technology to the best of their um, you know, advantage so that they can excel 
in that field and overall in the business, increase revenue, decrease cost, you know, all those things that I mentioned earlier. Uh, a product strategy, a, a mo mobile app can be a product, okay? But a product could be also, um, you know, like, um, a product could be like a, a bank account, right? Like you are basically providing somebody a bank account, but that might involve mobile as one of the things that you need to use along with it. So one of our customers, you know, they provide, and I think I mentioned this on onboarding, during onboarding as well, that they provide um, to uh, various consumers, these cash cards that they sell at 7-Eleven, Walmart, uh, they also provide, they're behind when you transfer money from one Apple phone to another Apple phone, they are behind it, you know, that uh, creates that account. So these guys have a product which is banking as a service, okay? So that's what they provide because to they partner with these large companies and say, hey, you don't need to become a bank, but we can help you in doing all of the back end work. So once you have this um, specific product that you want to offer, we can use it. But you know, that's also like a SaaS based product, uh, if you will. So that means that, um, you know, SaaS is uh, software as a service. So their product is SaaS based product. So they reinvented something called as banking as a service. So, um, so that's what they do. Pricing strategy. So, you know, let's say I have an idea for a mobile application but what do I do? Like, um, you know, do I make it free and get some traction? Um, you know, do I make it uh, 99 cents because people seem to just, you know, uh, very quickly buy an app for 99 cents? Uh, you know, should I make it $10 because it costs so much? Uh, you know, or should I make it free initially and then charge them? Or should I make some of the features free, but then, you know, add-ons can be some cost. Again, I'm sure you guys are very familiar with all that. There are you know, so many applications on the App Store that you've downloaded as well. And this is you know, one of the things that the strategist would help figure out or at least give information and give some frameworks to the customer so that they can make a more informed decision or maybe give your own recommendation for that as well. So that's what strategy is uh, for pricing. So that's pricing strategy. Then we'll cover revenue strategy in more detail, but it talks about, you know, quality of revenue, impact of revenue, source of revenue, and how one revenue is different than other revenue. You know, if it's an ongoing revenue that has more value because it increases your enterprise value of the company. Enterprise value of the company is like, you know, how much would someone buy that company for? That's the enterprise value. So if you have more recurring revenue, that means you're more likely to uh, you know, have more predictability in the revenue, then you could do, uh, you know, you can calculate the revenue in current terms. And that's one of the ways to calculate the value of the company. So, you know, that's the revenue strategy. Okay. Um, um, market strategy, what markets to be in. So we had one customer um, called as data scam and a great customer. And they were in the business of, you know, they had these big scanners that um, every year, a lot of the big box stores do their inventory for tax purposes, okay? So what they do is they um, go through every single aisle and they scan each and every item that they have um, for getting that exact audit of the inventory, okay? So what did they do? They, they said, okay, well, mobile is here. We have these scanners that are old school, that are Windows based, and they used to ship these scanners to all these companies, Nordstrom, you know, was one of their customers and several other big box stores to take that inventory. And they provided a cloud-based solution, you know, for that as well. So um, they said, okay, well, what do we do? Um, you know, how do we continue to innovate and evolve so that we are ahead in the game? And one idea was, what if we could come up with a mobile application, okay? Well, but the scanner on mobile application is not that fast and not that strong. And, you know, they really didn't want to also cannibalize their existing revenue. So they were shipping these uh, big um, scanners to these companies as a rent, uh, meaning as a rental, I guess. And then they would get those back. So 
you know, they said, okay, well, what do we do? This is a Windows based solution. We, you know, it's getting a little clunky as well. The interface is not that amazing. So again, you know, they did some strategy and finally they came up with a solution that they custom developed um, a scanner, you know, from China that ran Android. Okay, because that gives them the ability to just do these things quickly. And also they evaluated a strategy. They said, okay, we are in these big box stores, but those small mom and pop stores also need to do their inventory. So how about we give them a mobile application as well that they can use? They don't have, you know, too many big warehouses where they'll take, you know, so many different, so many weeks to get that done. But what they could do was they could give that solution and have additional market, have more people now that could use their product because they only had 8,000 of those scanners, you know, exact numbers there. Um, but, you know, now they could uh, create an application that works with the same backend and the backend, you know, like you scan and it goes and gets added to that particular aisle. So you scan an aisle and there were a lot of business logics, you know, business lo there was a lot of business logic, you know, that went behind this and um, you know pretty um, important use case for them but they would be an ideal customer who who knows that okay you know what i want to innovate i want to do something better i need a better user interface but what do i do do i go and create a mobile application or do i go and um, you know think about um, you know updating my hardware or do i stay status quo and that's going to be covered in one of the models um, you know, in BCG model, I don't have a dedicated slide for that, but I'll, I'll cover that really quickly, uh, you know, after a few slides. But so you guys get the idea now that overall on the top, on the company level is what is, is corporate strategy. You know, after that, um, there's business strategy that is more about being competitive. After that, there is functional strategy and that can be individual decisions, department by department, function by function that you need to take. And somewhere there, there's an overlap uh, where mobile strategy fits in. And what we do at Copper Mobile is, we focus on mobile strategy. What uh, BCG does, PwC does, McKinsey does, is more you know, across the board. They could also be having a $5 million engagement you know, just to create uh, you know, Porter Spy Forces, because it needs a lot of data, industry data, and, you know, a lot of other stuff, and it, it requires long time. And, uh, you know, they are equipped to do that, and they have, you know, the people to do that. Uh, but it's all about data, and they can hire a bunch of, um, you know, people like us, and, you know, train them and have those models, and they would do corporate strategy. So someone like Disney would do corporate strategy if they want to evaluate what do we do about our business uh, you know, of theme parks, how can we somehow, uh, you know, while everything is shut down, what do we do? Should we furlough the employees? What impact would it have? So again, there can be so many different decisions on a corporate level that can be there. And then business strategy, how to be competitive, functional strategy in that specific function.